Hey guys, this is Robbie Lamatina, and today I want to talk about when God closes doors, how do we find faith in times where it feels like we have rejection? And so first of all, I want to talk about rejection for a moment because Sometimes people believe that rejection is actually a bad thing, but rejection is actually God's protection. So oftentimes it's not rejection, it's protection, which leads to redirection ultimately, right? So the door closes, you, you're going a certain direction and you're believing for something, you think that this is what's best and the door closes in your face. It's abrupt and you're like, how did this happen? right? It's frustrating. Like I've been wanting for this to work out. It doesn't work out. The door closes or the opportunity. Uh, I didn't get picked for that job opportunity or, you know, the thing that you wanted, it just didn't happen the way you wanted it to happen. And it felt like you got a big door just shut in your face, slammed shut. And you're like, what the heck is this? Right? But here's the thing is the Bible says that God's ways are not our ways. Our ways are not his ways. What does that mean? It means that we are limited, but we serve a God who's unlimited. See, he's all knowing. We are limited by what we can see and what we can perceive in our knowledge. But God is unlimited. He's outside of space and time. He declared the end from the beginning. He knows what's going to happen before it happens. And so sometimes we enter into a danger zone without even knowing it, but God foresees the danger ahead. He sees way beyond what we can see and he closes that door to protect us. See, we need to change our mind about how we perceive what to be rejection. It's actually God's protection. And so if you're in that place of like being frustrated because things aren't working out, you serve a God who loves you, who cares about you, wants to protect you, wants to keep you safe and healthy in your journey of life. And so I love that God is able to work out all these things for us. The Bible says that he works out all things for the good of those who love him or who are called according to his purpose. Ultimately, God is working good in your life, whether you can see it or perceive it, God knows what's best for you. And so oftentimes we feel like we know what's best for ourselves or we have desires or wants and we start pursuing certain things. But at times we can even be deceived. We can even deceive ourselves. We can even convince ourselves that this makes sense, but we can be motivated by the wrong things. Maybe actually we're motivated by fear, right? And so uh, we're making a decision based off of our fear but God has something so much bigger and better for you. And that, that thing doesn't work out and you're like, but that was the easier path. Like, oh, it just made sense. How could this not work out? God wants to take you on the difficult path so that he can give you the greater blessing. But your fears will keep you doing the easy things. But God wants to bring you down that narrow path. If you're in that place where you're like, God, like, how do I be encouraged because this door closed and I've been believing for that, you need to trust that God is the God who sees. He's Yahweh El Roy. He's the God who sees. He's the all seeing God. He sees all things past, present and future. He knows you intimately. The Bible says before that time began that he formed you in your mother's womb, that you are fearfully and wonderfully made, that God intimately knows you and he knows what's best for you. Jeremiah 29, 11, I know the plans that I have for you, says the Lord, plans to prosper you, not to harm you. See, that's the key, not to harm you, but to give you a hope and a future, to prosper you. See, with God, prosperity is in his mind, for your plans and sometimes the decisions that we make or the path that we pursue doesn't actually lead us to prosperity. We think it's what's best, but God has a better way. And so we have to trust that when 
things are not working out, that it's actually God's redirection. He's redirecting you in the right way. So the Bible says, I love it, in Psalm 23, it says he leads us down paths of righteousness for his name's sake. What does that mean? He leads us down paths of righteousness. It means that he leads us down the right path, paths of righteousness, the right path, the path that he ordained for us to walk on. The Bible says that the steps of a good man are ordered of the Lord. See, God takes us from setup to setup. He, we go from, from step to step. He actually orders our path and he knows where he's taking us. We have to trust and believe that when things don't work out, that God has a better plan. So I wanna encourage you friends, if you're on that path where that door has closed and you're looking around like what's going on, just be patient because God is gonna open up a new path, a new door. It's gonna be a blessed one. This isn't, re this isn't rejection, but it's protection in God's redirection in your life. And so friends, I, I hope that made sense to you because I believe that God has the very best for your life, whether you can see it in the moment, whether it's frustrating or difficult, God truly has a blessed path for you to walk on. And so friends, my name is Robbie Lamatina. Hold fast to your faith. Trust and believe that God is good and you're gonna see him come through in your life. It might not look like it right now, but God has a blessed outcome for you. So guys, my name's Robbie. I hope this blessed somebody. Have a great day.